Want to know what it's like landing on a glacier in Alaska? Alaska has a lot to show, and fortunately, most of it is visible from the sky. That's why we booked a Temsco helicopters tour from the Denali National Park to Yanert Glacier. The company provides tours to Juneau, Denali, and Skagway, enabling tourists to experience the glacier-laden views of Alaska from above. Denali is popular for its views, but it is once you're in the air that you realize the place is even more beautiful than you might have heard from a friend or read in travel blogs. The flight scene tour began from the Denali National Park, where we spent quite a bit of time doing different activities. When you're in the air, nature looks even more glorious than it does on the ground. Most flight scene tours take off from the Great Gorge of Ruth Glacier, which is one of the densest granite wall collections in the whole world. Below, you'll spot a few miles of crevices in the landscape. The rock formations look much similar to the after effects of a bomb blast. Due to gravity and natural forces, these rocks fall into the river below, creating hurdles in the path of water. As you go further, you'll find yourself surrounded by towers of granite appearing brown in color. The huge granite monoliths are some of the greatest in the world and are bound to leave your mouth hanging in disbelief. They're called the moose's tooth, although they won't really remind you of teeth. Also, did you know someone climbed the monoliths alone? How crazy does that sound? From atop, the ledges might seem really tiny, but they're actually large enough to park a trailer. Another beautiful element of nature that you'll spot abundantly on your flight seeing tour is snow. Most of the snow you spot is tightly frozen, and some of it is up to 3,700 feet deep. Plus, the snow has been there for thousands of years, not melting due to the surrounding cold temperature. So it doesn't matter which season you travel to Alaska in, you'll be able to spot the snow snaking through the peaks and covering them to form crowns. The granite monoliths below are also covered with ice formations. Trust me when we say that some of these are as big as buildings. You might even spot one bigger than your home. During the sunny and hot days, some pieces melt off from the rock formations and fall into the glacier floor like showers of ice and rock. If you're lucky enough to be present at this show-stopping time, you'll feel the vibrations in the ground for many miles. From the top, you can only see the ice-covered debris on the glacier floor. But here's the thing about this ice. It's very tough, tough enough to resist the stabs from an axe. These fluted faces of ice pose a life-threatening challenge to climbers who try to scent these peaks. But that's none of your worries since you'll be safe and sound in the helicopter being stunned by these majestic ice formations. That's one thing we personally like about helicopter tours. Unlike plane tours, they offer a less bumpy ride. Also, you get more window space to capture pictures or see the landscape in its full magnificence. Since Temsco offers the only helicopter tours in Denali, we had to give the company a try. The tour season lasts from mid-May to mid-September, so make sure you book your seats before time. The total duration of the trip is around 1 to 5 hours. We took the Denali Glacier Landing Expedition, which has a 50-minute flight time. Plus, you'll get to spend about 15 times on the glacier, so the total duration comes to 2 hours including the transfers. The company also offers two other tours, the Denali Heli Hiking and the Denali Tundra Express. The Denali Heli Hiking is best for people who want to combine their flight seeing tour with a little bit of hiking. The tour has 15 minutes of flight time and you get to hike for about 3 hours. On the other hand, the Denali Tundra Express has up to 20 minutes of flight time and you get to spend the same amount of time on the mountain landing. Do note that the tour might be delayed or cancelled due to weather problems, but you can always take an alternate tour to view the Alaskan landscape from above. As for the Denali Glacier Landing Tour, the one we took, it starts from the company's private heliport. From there, you go up the air and immediately find yourself surrounded by the Denali National Preserve. During the tour, the pilot guides you about the surrounding landscape and tells you interesting facts about the area. While you're up in the air, you might spot wildlife and local residents too. We saw plenty of dull sheep and moose, but the pilot mentioned the presence of bears and caribou in the area too. Oh, and don't be shy. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask your pilots. They're very friendly and knowledgeable, so we never had any trouble with resolving our curiosity about the landscape and the wildlife below. While we may not have seen these animals, we definitely saw countless snow-capped peaks. In fact, they're a representation of the area since people from all over the country come to Denali to view these peaks. The view becomes even more stunning when you spot an icy river passing through the gaps in the mountains. The reason we chose the Denali Glacier Landing Tour was that it actually lets you land on the glacier and take pictures or walk around, taking in the vastness of the area. When the helicopter stopped at the Yanert Glacier, we got off and were immediately welcomed by a cold breeze. The Yanert Glacier is near the Hess Mountain and used to be a subject of discussion due to its movements. In 2000, the Geophysical Institute researchers went to the Alaskan Range. 
When they returned, the pathway was overtaken by the Yannert Glacier that formed its way around the crevices. According to the glaciologists, the glacier surged. To put it simply, it moved forward with speed after years of being in one place. Since the tour stopped for 15 minutes on the glacier, we had enough time to drink the fresh water from it. The water at the glacier was inexplicably blue, setting a beautiful contrast against the white ice and brown vegetation. Back in 2000, when the skiers were at the glacier, they noticed cracks in the glacier, although the surface used to be smooth just five years ago. Also, the helicopter excursions from Denali also noticed the cracking in the glacier. Complexion problems are not uncommon in glaciers, but Yannard's pattern is slightly different. When glaciers grind for many years, they suddenly surge at a fast speed. But the last surge spotted in Yannert was in 1942 when it covered the distance of a football field. Glaciologists say that it is now covering the distance much quickly. However, it will not become a roadblock since it's just 35 miles from the park's highway. Back in 2001, when glaciologists were flying over Yannert to monitor its movements, they noticed that it had stopped moving in midsummer. They assumed that it might start surging the next year in winter or take another break for about 60 years as it did before. It all depends on the glacier's mood. Speaking of mood, the Yannert River further sets the mood for adventure. Although it's not very popular, it's the largest tributary of the Nenana River. You can spot this river on the eastern side of the Denali National Park. The Yannert River is only 20 miles long, but is bordered by many beautiful elements such as metamorphic rocks, volcanic mixes, and deep gorges. The mountains in the region are up to 12,000 feet, with Mount Deborah taking the lead. In short, the whole distance is as scenically beautiful as it can be. We'd suggest taking your cameras along and charging your phones to the full because you'll definitely want to take pictures when you land on the glacier and on your way to and from the destination. But make sure you're quick with pictures, or you won't be able to enjoy the views since the tour only stops at the glacier for about 15 minutes. Also, you need to have at least four passengers if you want to book the tour for yourself. Another tour that you can book to get a closer view of the mountains and glaciers at Denali is the Denali Air Tour. The flight seeing tour is extremely fulfilling and gives you a bird's eye view of everything Denali is famous for. Along with viewing Alaska's landscape from above, you'll also get a chance to walk on the ice near the world famous Denali Mountain. If you need a front row experience, you need to hop on this flight seeing tour. Denali Air is the only company that has the permits to land in the Denali National Park so you can enjoy close-up views of places that you've only previously seen in pictures. Needless to say, the National Park is one of the most beautiful sites in the world. It covers 6 million acres of land and has everything from outrageously beautiful landscapes and rich vegetation to all types of wildlife. You'll spot caribou, wolves, black bears, grizzly bears, and moose. More importantly, you'll be as close as you can possibly be to Mount Denali without reaching it with the aim of the ascent. Let us remind you that it's the tallest peak in North America, so you must take dozens of pictures for your social media pages and simply flaunt your adventures at dinner parties and family gatherings. Personally, we'd always prefer the aerial view over exploring Denali on foot or a bike because the top views let you cover a lot of landscape in a short amount of time. While the Glacier Landing Helicopter Tour is 50 minutes, the Denali Air Tour lasts for 100 minutes. So you only need a little over an hour to experience Denali in its full grandeur. Also, there's just something so extraordinarily beautiful about looking at the winding river valleys, rivers, and glaciers sitting between them from above. The Fly Denali Tour has interactive headsets, allowing the pilots to tell you fun facts about the area you're traveling in by air. As you get close to Denali Mountain, you'll see the lush green landscape turning into glacial terrain. If you watched Ice Age, you know what we're talking about. As you get closer to the mountain, the descent will begin and you'll find yourself in the Great Gorge of the Ruth Glacier, which is the deepest in the whole world. By this point, you'll be at the mountain house. Since the tour lands here, you get 20 to 30 minutes of free time to do anything you want. Walk around, drink water from the glacier, and take a lot of pictures to take some gorgeous memories home. Or if you're going with friends or family, you might want to have a short snowball fight. On your way back, you can experience the same landscape or simply sit back and reflect on this pleasantly awe-inspiring trip you've just had. For us, the Glacier Landing Tour was nothing short of extraordinary, so we'll recommend it to everyone going to Alaska. To avoid any disappointments, make sure you book a trip from Temsco's Air's website beforehand. The trips start as early as 9.20 in the morning and the last trip is timed at 5.45 p.m., so you can choose the time that suits you best and book a slot for yourself. The website also shows you which tours only have one or two seats left, so if you're traveling solo, there's an opportunity for you to find the right slot. 
we'd still suggest calling beforehand so that your flight seeing tour can be as pleasant as possible.